Okay, I'm just picking off where we left off before. So we've got the Apache 2 installed. And if I go to my window, you can see there that that's working fine. So again, we're going to do most of this uh, in the terminal. So make sure you get your terminal. If you need a new terminal, go to Window, New Terminal, uh, and that'll bring it up. Um, so this can be a wee bit tricky. Um, not the SQL part, but PHP my, my admin seems to be a wee bit um, temperamental. So whatever you do, don't hit the run button during this. Okay, I'll explain why towards the end. So the first thing I want to do is uh, just um, check the service for SQL status. So sudo service my SQL status. Okay, uh, and it's running, running fine. Okay, so it's starting the server. So what I'm going to do now, um, I'm going to create a user now. Um, I'll have to type an SQL sudo, sorry, sudo my SQL slash u root. Okay, so that opens SQL as a root user. What I want to do is create a new user. Now, um, so I'm just going to type in create and user. Sorry, my typing's terrible. So user, username at. Now, what I might do here, in fact, I'll try this. I'll say create user Michael at and then quotes again localhost. That catches a lot of people out. Um, the at should be outside the quote, so Michael is in quotes and then localhost in quotes. And what I want to do is identified and we'll go by and I'll say pass one, two, three. Okay. And then put a semicolon. Sorry, I should put that nine above. So query, okay, that means it's run out, zero is affected, that's okay. What I want then to do is um, I'm going to grant all privileges to this user, so Michael. Um, just don't do this unless you're um, absolutely confident in the, uh, the user account you're giving it to. So grant all privileges. I can never spell privileges on. Uh, I'm going to put in everything to. I will say Michael. At localhost, sorry, I keep on getting my quotes wrong. Localhost with grant option. Okay. And again, that looks like it's worked okay. And then I'm just going to exit my SQL and it comes out fine. Now, what I want to do if I want to try and test it. I will just say um, MySQL minus U Michael minus P should prompt me for password then. My password is pass one, two, three, and it lets me in. There we go. Welcome to the SQL monitor. Okay, so that seems to have worked fine. It's all on PHP my admin. I got this wrong the first couple of things I did it for a really simple reason. So the command for this is sudo apt install php my admin all one word php dash mb string php dash get text oops dash get text again I could copy and paste it but now, the reason that's not worked is I'm an idiot. I've not come out of my SQL, so you type exit. Exit. There we go. Now I should be able to put in, uh, I'm just going to have to put it in again. So sudo apt install. There we go. PHP my admin, PHP dash mb string, PHP dash get text. The spaces are important. If you get the spaces wrong, it won't work. Okay. Press enter and off it goes. Now, it says here um, it uses 55, 54 meg of additional space. That's fine, yes. Now, this is the, believe it or not, this is a stupid mistake. I'm not really used to using um, command line Ubuntu. So, 
it looks to me as if the red would suggest that Apache 2 has been selected. It's not. I need to press the spacebar to select Apache 2 and then press enter. And off it goes the installation. Okay, and it zips through it. So configuring PHP my admin, what I'll do um configure a database, yeah, we'll go with that. That's fine. My SQL applications for PHP my admin, what I'll do is I'll say pass one, two, three. Okay, and then pass one, two, three, and okay. Okay, there we go. So it should have installed, right? The only way to check if this is installed is again to go back in here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this back to Amazon AWS.com, delete that and put in php my admin slash and then you see that php my admin has installed my username is michael my password is pass one two three and it logs me in at this point i can create a new database i can once i've created the database i can put in the sql you can see the tables it's a much nicer way of managing it it's important for you to know that it will work without this, but this just makes things easier. That's the reason I've been spent so much time trying to get it installed. Um, and that is how you get PHP My Admin working on uh, AWS Cloud 9 with Ubuntu 18.04. Uh, I'll leave this together with mistakes and all, and you can uh, see if you've gone wrong anywhere. But hopefully that's a decent guide. I'm going to make one more video where I deliberately break it and see if I can fix it.